Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. We are going to be working on the upper right hand side corner of our chalkboard using these square chalk pastels by Sargent Art. I also have a new set here that have landscape colors and they are just beautiful. They are chalk pastel so they are going to give a nice vibrant color. Here are some of the materials that I'm using to inspire this main lesson block as well as the drawing for this part of the chalkboard. I am working on my four by six foot slate chalkboard, but I have recently repainted it because the slate was kind of too smooth after several years of use and there was no other way to remedy that except to paint it which the manufacturer cautioned against but I'm really happy that it that I did because it reinvigorated our chalkboard and allowed us to be able to use it again with these beautiful pastel chalks because otherwise the chalk just wasn't sticking to our chalkboard. All right, so I am continuing the image that I have on the left side of the chalkboard. I apologize that you can't really see what I'm working on right now, but I will pull back. You'll get a better view of what I am doing. But basically on the left side of the chalkboard, I had this huge owl and a rabbit, and I had about a third of the chalkboard left, and I was going to be using it to put up some images for the remainder of these spring units that I had planned for my children. One on owls and birds, one on bees, and the other one on frogs. And I was just going to do a flower with a bee on it and then an enlarged version of the life cycle of a frog. But my daughter didn't want me to have something separate. She wanted an entire image. And so I changed the design and decided to just continue kind of this whole image, uh, this nature scene with a tree on the right side with a beehive in it and then I have an enlarged flower, which I'm not crazy about the way that it turned out in large part because it is so awkward as far as the scale is concerned with the rest of the drawing. And also because my flower is in yellow and my bee is in yellow, making it really hard to see the bee. And the other problem that I have with this chalk drawing is that the life cycle of a frog, which is down below, is just too small as far as the scale compared to the rest of the chalk drawing. Now, Though those things might bug me and you at first, once you see the entire chalk drawing, you kind of forget about those things and you just really like looking at the whole image. At least that's the way, the way it is for me. So don't worry about those kinds of mistakes at first. Um, you'll probably overlook them. And if you really dislike it, you can always erase and start again. But after all the work that I put into this, I'm going to leave it up for several months. The left side of the chalkboard took an hour and five minutes. And then the B part took 20 minutes. And then and the frog part took 20 minutes. So this was quite a time investment for this, but this will last for three separate small spring units. All right, so I have my enlarged flower there on the right side with a bee in it. You can also see the different aspects of the flower. I did want to draw a cross section of a flower here, but I was having trouble doing it and it just seemed really awkward and out of place. So I erased it, I added the blue, I kind of used my hand to smile mudge everything together and then I went to my Waldorf poetry book and instead I wrote a poem there that works with the image of the owl and will work well for all of these nature units. All right so don't forget to check the description box below for more details on the materials that I used. You can also head over to my website at pepperandpine.com, check out the blog post that accompanies this video and don't forget that if you want to see what we're up to on a daily basis you can find find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.